Okay, so this is another video for Poly Mathematical. In this video, I'm just going to be giving uh, an explanation of who uh, one of my favourite politicians in the world is right now. This is uh, Bernie Sanders, so this is unrelated to UK politics. Um, this is just going over American politics. And just an explainer for any British people watching and maybe even some American people watching who Bernie Sanders actually is. So Bernie Sanders is a name that's been coming up a lot recently. Um, so let me just give a brief overview of who he actually is. He's the senator for Vermont in America. That's a small state in the northeast of America. Um, and he's been a senator there for the last million or so years. I think he's been a senator there for about the last 30 years, which is incredible. He's actually about 78. Um, and he is running for president uh, come next year, uh, running against... So the way that the uh, American political system works is instead of, uh, like with our system, we've got Jeremy Corbyn, he would become prime minister if Labour Party won. But uh, before they have their main election, they've got primaries. So they pick from their party who they want to run. So imagine Jeremy Corbyn would have some sort of competitor that he'd have to go against. So in that scenario, it's the best of the party that goes ahead, or at least the people of the party gets a pick who goes for them. So uh, Bernie Sanders in the last election went against Hillary Clinton, and from nowhere in 2016, he nearly actually won. He, nobody knew his name in 2016, but by the end of it, everybody knew his name, and he is now one of the most popular politicians, if not the most popular politician, in America and I do see him as being the next president of the United States most likely um, just from what I know of uh, American politics and the way that um, things seem to be shifting um, and that's not just me speaking as well uh, there are a lot of polls in there as well that reflect the American uh, population's opinion on Bernie Sanders so, for example, just a few polls. Got Fox News, which is very right-wing. Bernie, FYI, is left-wing. So even the right-wingers still like him. If you want to watch um, a Bernie Sanders interview uh, with Fox News and watch these right-wingers get brought over by Bernie Sanders' policies, um, I'm going to leave a link in the description for that as well. Um, and as well as that... Uh, so he's got a plus 13 positivity rating on the Fox poll and then as well with CNN which is more left-wing uh, organization but it's still quite corporate uh, that's up by 25 points in positivity rating so that's um, so the way that poll is conducted is they measure uh, how many people view him negatively and how many people view him positively so the figures that I'm giving are just for difference. So uh, on this one, on the Fox News one, uh, it's a plus 13 one. So I believe that the, uh, I think it was 52 to 39 on the positivity rating uh, that, they, that they viewed them on. I might be incorrect with that. Um, I would need to look at the, the figures again. So then with CNN, uh, it's plus 25 as well. And then the Economist slash YouGov is a plus 19. So these ones have been taken from about this year and last year. And I'm just going to give a quick explanation of what Bernie Sanders actually wants and why people in America are starting to support him. So for one, he wants health care for all. Um, in the UK, this is pretty standard. What, um, what he's saying is he wants it to be free for the people so that they don't have to pay for it at the point of use. So they're still paying for it in taxes and stuff like that, but at the point of use, it's free. Because in America, one of their biggest debt, no, the biggest debt crisis in America is through medical bills. So think if you just happen to get ill, you happen to get hit by a car, you then have to pay for that. You, it's not your fault, but you still have to pay for it. They get insured but there's still excesses on insurance and stuff like that. 
so they still have to pay for everything. In the UK, we're lucky, we don't have to pay for everything when we get ill. So for example, uh, somebody in my family actually has cancer and he is actually getting paid for it. Um, so instead of him actually having to shell out for can for uh, for having cancer and getting pit and not having to not being able to work and also having p to pay for the treatments, he is instead not being forced maybe even out of his home because he's got debts and stuff like that. He's instead actually being supported by the state and being supported by his community instead of being pushed out for being ill, like just pushing out those who are not actually the healthiest of us, that's disgusting. And if it was your parents or something like that, would you actually want, or if it was your brother, your sister, your grandparents, would you just push them out on the street and give them a whole pile of debt just because they got ill? That doesn't make sense. That's illogical. So yeah, that's what Bernie Sanders wants to do. He, make, he wants to make it similar to the NHS system that we have in the UK in that you don't have to pay for it at a point of use. However, it's slightly different because in the UK, uh, all the systems for the NHS and stuff like that is all government owned. But in the US, they would be, uh, the hospitals would still be privately owned, except that the government would pay for all the bills of the uh, people using the services and stuff like that, um, instead of individuals paying for it themselves. Um, that is socialism and socialism is a good thing. Socialism is your police force. Socialism is your army. Socialism is just where the community gets together or the, the people of a country get together and pay for something. That's what police is, that's what the army is, that's what the law system is. That's Socialism is, gets this really bad rap because of a lot of author, authoritarian uh, systems in uh, Latin America and stuff like that and in China that's a extreme form of left-wing uh, communism um, but also not an extreme form of left-wing communism there's a lot of capitalism in there as well I'm going to do a few videos explaining the differences between a few but I'm going to move on to uh, what Bernie Sanders also wants uh, next anyway so we don't go off on a tangent he also wants college for all uh, looking into his policies that would mean that he'd make uh, American colleges uh, tuition free. So this is something that a lot of European countries have got. The UK is currently on a par with America as some of the ex most expensive education in the in the world. So, um, so for example, if you go to university for three years, you pay nine grand each year. That is then 27 grand in debt that you now have to pay back. So admittedly, you don't have to pay it until you're paying 25 grand over, uh, until you're getting paid 25 grand and over. But that's still, when you're earning, that's money that you're not putting back into an economy. It's money that you're paying to some fucking bank instead of it being covered as a... It's not. It's like they're disincentivizing you to get into education. There is literally a disincentive to get into education. Now, I know it's a good thing to go into work and stuff like that, but education is also important and it can actually increase earnings as well. There's lots of studies that have shown that um, increased education can lead to increased earnings. Um, and as well as that, he wants a, a Green New Deal for the country as well. But what this would mean would be reorienting the country towards green, um, to green jobs. Just one second, need to plug in the camera. Yeah, so uh, Bernie Sanders actually also wants a Green New Deal. What this would mean is reorienting the economy to a more uh, nature-friendly slash climate-friendly um, economy. So for those who are saying that that would negatively affect the economy, no, there is so many positive effects of a Green New Deal and green-based jobs that would be uh, a result of this. So for example, there'd be great investment in the solar industry and that can lead to a lot of jobs in the US alone. The solar panel industry has led to about 2 million, in, uh, 2 million jobs. Um, and if we were to do the same sort of thing in the UK, I imagine it would have much the same effect. But currently the UK are actually cutting a lot of the subsidies that we've got 
uh, in the country for solar panels and stuff like that. So pushing us more towards uh, using traditional and very negative uh, negative fuels for heating our homes, for our electricity and stuff like that. Um, yeah, and uh, as well as that, he also has a jobs for all scheme that he wants to do. Now this I actually love because it's something that I found out about about a year or two ago. Um, no, it must be longer than that now actually, it must be about three years. Um, but it's something that FDR, who was a, the president in the 1920s in America, um, that he advocated for. And basically this job for all scheme would mean that no matter how um, uneducated you are, you could get a job with a building firm for the government. So what they would do is they would hire everybody who needed a job, a job or wanted a job uh, into this building scheme and everything that needed to be built by the government such as infrastructure, such as uh, roads, uh, hospitals, schools, all of those sort of things, police stations, whatever, anything that was a cost to the government could then be, pay could then be built for by the government, by people who needed the jobs. And I think that this is, this is great because you hear so often about, peop about governments being ripped off by construction firms. So, I'm sorry if you're working in a construction firm right now and this is uh, earning you money, but there's so many times that people have been ripped off by these construction firms. You hear loads of it about, um, such as building HS2, and how much that is gonna cost. It's gonna cost billions. It's creating jobs, but it's wasteful and it's costing ta taxpayers money. And then you, as well, you've got lots of schemes with, um, with building with building firms such as for fire fire stations and for police stations where there's like 30 year leases on the um on the buildings and even if they're not being used the construction firms still get paid or the firms that own the buildings still get paid for it rather than the government actually owning the building outright which is fucking weird it makes no sense and it just really increased their cost for no reason and increase the cost to taxpayers as well so you are paying money for buildings that do not get used. So how does that make sense? Um, so what that would be proposing is just like the government would be building the, the buildings themselves and then owning the buildings themselves as well. So such as the roads, which are now uh, owned and maintained by, uh, by the government, obviously, um, and by council and stuff like that as well. Um, and as well as that like network rail that's currently owned by the government and maintained by the government it's through um, a it's through a company but it is government owned that company network rail um, yeah and yeah with that jobs for all scheme that's really good because I mean it just basically ensures that somebody can work if they want to work They're not having to worry about oh I have to travel this far to get a job or I have to go and do something that they may may not want to do. Now, construction may not be something they want to do, but there's always a job there, is the fact. And it just, it creates a resilient economy that isn't going to fail every time that the bankers screw things up and cause another crash in the economy, such as in 2009. And just means that you don't have to worry about a job. And it also it also creates a it's a good way of um, keeping construction costs for the government low because construction is a constant thing that is always happening in governments, and it is always required. It is a big cost to uh, you as a taxpayer and um, and to the government themselves. Um, and as well as that, uh, I want to just um, answer the question of whether I think he will be president. I do think he will be president. Um, there is a long road to there, but uh, if I'm giving odds, I'd say it's 60-40 that Bernie Sanders becomes president if he doesn't die in the meantime because he is a bit old. But 
Uh, um, he's got a lot of energy for the guy, uh, for how old he is. He's like seven. He's seventy eight years old, I think, and he's got great amounts of energy, and he just seems like a fucking lovely guy. And he's a fighter as well. Like this guy's been fighting for the last thirty years. Um, no, he's been fighting since the sixties actually. So that's the last fifty years. Uh, so that, so it, that was since he was my age, which is a madness. Um, and I just want to give a quick word on the 2016 election that he was part of as well. So in that election, Clinton actually admitted that um, they had actually rigged the uh, primary election against him so that Hillary Clinton could win the nomination. So um, for anybody who was thinking that Bernie Sanders was one, one who lost, you, there's not too many who may not be aware, but Hillary Clinton was one that he was going against in 2016. Um, and I do think that Bernie Sanders would have won against Donald Trump. I would think he would have crushed him. And I think if he makes it to his pra in, into the uh, main elections this time round, I think he will crush him and it will be a landslide uh, win for him. And um, yeah, and I just want to run through some things that Bernie Sanders has actually done. So anybody who's thinking, oh, it sounds great and everything, eh? and he's got all these great policies, but what has he actually done for people? This is what he's actually done. Um, he marched with MLK, Martin Luther King, in the 60s, before it was popular. So everybody looks back on MLK and um, how it's a great thing that racism is no longer legally um, part of... Yeah, it's just not part of a legal institution anymore. But, you know, segregation and stuff like that. And... It's only, it's only recently that these laws were really coming down in the US. So in the 60s, um, that was when most of them were getting overturned. And Bernie Sanders was there marching with Martin Luther King in when he was just 20. Like he knew even back then where his morals lay. And as well as that, he's also, uh, this is quite a recent one, he's got a wage increase um, for 350,000 people working for Amazon. Right now, uh, a lot of people working in the UK may be pretty fucking jealous of that because uh, Amazon are some of the lowest pay, are one of the lowest paying com companies in the country right now. They do provide a lot of jobs, but uh, the pay, as in a lot of warehouses, is quite low. Um, yeah, and as well as that. Think about this, he nearly won the primary out of nowhere. Nobody fucking knew his name. Nobody. Nobody. I happened to know his name like, and just about recognise him because I'd found him while uh, looking into American politics and I sort of saw him as a American version as a, of uh, Jeremy Corbyn because like, looking at how right-wing American politics is, I wasn't sure if there was anybody who was actually what I would classify as left-wing but I was happy to find Bernie Sanders. That was just through a lot of uh, internet research and stuff like that. I was very surprised when I found out that he was actually going to try for the presidential uh, nomination, but I was really happy to hear it. And it's really brought American politics uh, to the left and he has transformed American politics, literally. Like just him being there and talking about what he cares about has transformed American politics. Um, especially on healthcare and stuff like that. Now it's really in the national conversation with healthcare um, as being uh, one of the biggest things um, due to the due to the fucking hardship that's brought to the population, really. And uh, oh yeah. <laughs> and just another thing as well. Um, he has a good way with birds, not in the sense that. He's chatting up loads of ladies. Um, I'm going to put a link in the description uh, and you can see what I mean when I say he's got a good way of birds. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching and please do uh, like, subscribe and uh, share this with anybody who might be interested by it. And uh, give a few of the other videos a watch as well. There's a few videos on uh, local elections. And if you wanted to educate yourself a bit more on grime, because, um, you know, the whole politics thing is a bit nerdy, so you need to catch up on something to make you look like a bit of a gangster, stuff like that. <laughs> um, go and watch a few of the grind videos that I put up, 
and uh, I can give you a bit of a different interpretation of those ground videos and because a lot of people just see them as folk, uh, folk music, um, but I can give you a different interpretation on that. Uh, yeah, uh, thanks for watching. Bye.